Hey riders, welcome to another video in our Adventure Motorcycle Gear Series. I'm Eric Lang with Ride Adventures. I've been riding and guiding motorcycle tours around the world for over 10 years now. And today we're gonna address the big question everyone has. What is the best skid plate you can possibly put on your KTM 790 Adventure? Let's get into it. So claiming that we've found the best skid plate for the 790 Adventure is obviously a pretty tall claim, but keep in mind, we come from 10 years of experience managing rental bike operations and tours and adventure bikes all around the world. We've got a lot of experience dealing with the hard parts that, the hard parts that other manufacturers are making to protect these bikes. And there's a lot of great parts being made by manufacturers with aluminum and steel for skid plates and upper crash bars and things like that. The situation KTM presents us with though in this unique design of the 790 Adventures means we might as well utilize what is this stronger than average fuel tank which was designed to take some hits and some impacts and withstand being put on its side like this. So if you read about it yourself, KTM did some drop testing. This isn't just your standard plastic fuel tank, super thin or anything like that. It's actually a really strong, robust tank that was, again, meant to be put on its side occasionally. It's, but um, you can tell by just feeling it and, again, knowing that KTM made a fairly exposed tank like that, they also made it more robust than some other plastic tanks would be. So, again, because we can kind of utilize that strength and that structure of that tank and then have a one-piece design like this that AXP Racing came up with, it just makes sense to have one piece like that, uh, both skid plates and kind of like body protection, shall we say, instead of installing separate metal parts. And, and again, I don't mean to criticize uh, the metal parts that we put on other bikes where it's more appropriate, but metal, typically heavier, uh, more expensive, especially if you're buying a separate skid plate and upper crash bar system or something like that. All those costs could end up being about double what it is for this skid plate. And then uh, just again, the, the need to protect with parts that can twist and, and, and get misaligned like the metal and the aluminum can from taking impacts. Instead, by having this resilient one piece plastic design that does absorb some pretty significant impacts, uh, the one piece design is the way to go as far as we can tell so far. So in this one piece design, what AXP Racing came up with is a eight millimeter thick piece of high density polyethylene plastic. Ends up weighing about 3.2 kilograms, call it uh, seven pounds or so. And again, a one piece design that takes minimal assembly work. You're just gonna install with four bolts on each side, an aluminum bracket down here and a, a plastic sort of a heat, call it a heat shield type uh, bracket towards the front. Again, very simple. Uh, they have a great video on there. YouTube channel that you can see on how to put it together. It takes 20 minutes to assemble and then another 10 or so minutes to install using four bolts in the front. You've got two using sort of this kickstand bracket, two using two of the original bolts and a spacer in the rear like that. Very simple, straightforward, easy thing to do. And again, um, given how lightweight it is compared to hard parts, metal, aluminum, and things like that, how lightweight it is. And again, that buying a separate aluminum or metal skid plate and upper crash bars or something like that would probably be in the ballpark on average of being twice the cost of this option. Uh, we just don't see so far. And having exposed this skid plate to some heavy hits and some impacts so far and having no major skid marks to point to or any damage so far, uh, we think it's going to be a great fit for all of our KTM 790 adventures probably work well for you too, so. So full disclosure of the first two skid plates that we did install from AXP Racing, we did have some fitment issues on one of the two. Um, there was actually a bolt that was the wrong length that uh, just needed to be five millimeters longer. And then uh, and the rear mounting points where it goes into those uh, foot peg brackets, uh, the spacing between the aluminum brackets that come with the skid plate were not quite enough to receive and fit the spacers that were provided as well. So really just a matter of sort of filing down uh, one of the spacers to make it all fit and 
kind of pressing a little bit harder. But generally, the other one, the other skid plate that we installed, bolted up just fine, no problem. So, um, you know, full disclosure. Also, we're not sponsored or anything by AXP Racing. We've tested these things. We've taken some serious wax so far. Don't always catch it on video for you. It's one of those things. If we do have a fracture or a breakage or something like that with time, check back with us. We will be reporting on that. Uh, we will try to keep links if you, there are discount opportunities to buy these uh, below in the description. We'll try and update that regularly, but really just a great skid plate design that makes sense specifically for this bike design. It really only works that one piece protecting the upper part of the bike because that tank itself is such a structurally rigid and supportive member of the bike like that. So I think it's going to be great for us and probably be great for you as well. Hope the information helped. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, ask for notifications for future videos to be sent. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. Right on. <laughs> we got skid marks in there. Now I'm frozen. Did it. Uh. That was good.